The robots aren't coming, they're here. An Austin company has deployed robots in dozens of hospitals nationwide, and this is only the beginning. They're freeing up nurses and health care providers so they can focus on patient care. Check this out. Hello. Say hello to the future of human-robot collaboration. This is Moxie, a robot. And uses all these sensors. It's got a LiDAR and cameras to navigate around. Built by Austin-based Diligent Robotics. Andrea Tomas is the co-founder and CEO. So Diligent Robotics is really bringing robots into work with teams of people, creating teammate robots that take on work that those teams of people uh, are, don't want to do. Right now, Moxie is in more than 30 hospitals nationwide, working with healthcare providers by taking menial tasks from nurses to enhance patient care. So we are really helping hospitals, we like to say, augment their workforce. So they've been in a critical crisis in terms of not having enough staff, burnout, and what we want to do is help them make sure that the people they do have are working most effectively. One of the roles Moxie is taking over is supply and medication deliveries to hospital rooms. Say I'm in the, the pharmacy and I've got this you know, medication here that I'm going to load in. I would, I'm here um, to pick something up. there we go, Moxie's ready to pick up. And so I would have to scan my badge to open a container and then I get to put it in and I close the container and then Moxie will go to the nursing unit. At the end of last year, Moxie Robots completed a half million deliveries across the fleet. And that's you know half a million times that a nurse or a pharmacy tech got to stay in their department doing their real job and a robot was able to kind of save them 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Moxie was deliberately designed to be smaller than most people with a wide face and compassionate eyes. Its program uses AI and machine learning to navigate hospitals. This is Moxie's learning lab. Here, Moxie learns how to map the hospital floors and this is a simulated elevator. Moxie comes in, there's a panel right here and then Moxie learns how to press the buttons to go up and down and really learn the hospital. As it's learned how to open, you know, 300, 400, 500 doors across the country, then you get to start to use those same models across the, across the fleet. Tomas says the applications are endless as we launch into the robot age. The time where we get to start thinking about how robots are gonna enter society is now. Like we have robots that are ready to kind of work alongside people and, and we get to define what that's gonna be like. Walt Makaborski. CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.